not any more than most pickups in the market and on humps and on most Philippine roads, Metro Manila roads with lubak and potholes, it's quite comfortable actually. It absorbs the imperfections quite well. The last BT-50 was made in cooperation with Ford. In case you missed the news, this is now built by Isuzu. So it's now a Japanese-Japanese partnership. Yes, it comes with a turbo. It's a turbo diesel and I don't think you can buy a pickup without a turbo these days. The engine is Isuzu sourced, four-cylinder inline turbo diesel with uh, 187 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. I understand your confusion. The official color is gun blue metallic. And in a lot of lighting situations, it does look black, but it's blue. Not any more than most pickups in the market. And on humps and on most Philippine roads, Metro Manila roads with lubak and potholes, it's quite comfortable actually. It absorbs the imperfections quite well. I'd say the Navara is better. This is somewhere between the Navara and the Hilux. It rides better than the Hilux, I believe. I was able to try the back seat yesterday and even with the front seat adjusted to my 5'11 height, the rear space is quite roomy and comfortable. Although the rear seat is a bit short. We didn't know you guys were interested in this, so we had to look it up. And payload capacity is 1,095 kilograms, and towing capacity is 3,500 kilograms. Hope that helps. It's not Mazda enough. You can still feel and see the, the rugged Isuzu bits, but um, that's just me. I like the fact that it has cruise control, even for a mid-spec variant. I find that quite useful. I think what differentiates the BT-50 is the design. It, it looks very much like a Mazda now. Many people will be, will be drawn to the design and they'll stay for the solid Isuzu powertrain. Actually, the 4x2 is very capable. You get the exact same engine and power. And you save a lot of money. So, kung hindi ka naman and you, need, you don't need all the four-wheel drive capabilities, and many people don't, the 4x2 is more than good enough. The, the 4x4 and the 4x2 should be equally reliable. Although, the 4x4 has more me mechanical bits, so something to keep in mind in the, in the future when it comes to maintenance. Because of the warranty, you have 5 years of free PMS and no other pickup in the market offers that other than Mazda. The sound system is okay, nothing spectacular, but of course, having Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is great. This 4x2 variant for driving is 1.46 million. 
and the top spec is 1.79 million. Yes, there is a manual variant. It costs 1.39 million. Give you what? Uh, a pickup? Um, to. <laughs> That's a lot of factors, so we'll just schedule a comparo between this and what seems to be its uh, natural competitor, the Navara. And abangan na lang, we'll do it just for you.